Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. As you can see, we're in our shop today and I am here with my sister-in-law, Summer, and we're gonna show you our awesome new machine, the Thunder Nova 51 130 watt laser. As you know, today is Thursday and we're gonna start a new segment on our channel called Thunder Thursdays. I'm typically working on Thursday, so I have Summer here who's gonna be involved in a lot more of the videos and she is actually gonna be doing a lot of the laser work here at the shop. So I'm gonna pass it over to Summer and she'll explain to you what that is. By adding this laser to the shop, Triple L Rust Designs is able to have laser services for our customers, but we can also offer it to other makers as well. I'm gonna be running the laser operations here at Triple L, so if you're in need of laser services, please reach out to us at tlrdlaser at hotmail.com and I'll be happy to review your request. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about this Thunder Nova 51. The Thunder Nova 51 comes in two different power options. We opted for the 130 watt, which gives us a little bit of extra juice behind that laser. The working area on this laser is 51.2 by 35.4 inches, and your projects can be up to nine inches tall. I was at work when this laser was delivered. It was brought in on a box truck, and Trey and Larry were able to unload it and bring it here into the shop. It only took Trey about three hours to install the laser, and he actually installed the power supply to the laser all by himself. As you can see, we've been practicing a lot over the last two weeks on this laser. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the computer and show you what this laser can do. The Thunder laser runs on the Lightburn software. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And I'm just gonna draw like a simple design here. We could do a smiley face. Well, kind of a funny looking smiley face, but that's okay. All right, so we're all set here. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick a material that we can burn our smiley face on. Just do something like this, nice and small. Back over here in Lightburn, I highly recommend if you have a Thunder laser to get the camera option. We have a camera on our laser, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the picture here. So that way we can see our workspace. So with that, you're actually gonna be able to take your design and move it right where your board is. And you can adjust it per the size of your board. That looks pretty good there. Before we get started, we need to set the proper depth on our laser. When you buy a Thunder laser, it comes with this piece of acrylic here. It's six millimeters thick, and you use this to set the depth of your laser. So I'm just moving it down to start because I just wanna make sure that it's not anywhere close to my laser. So once I know I have it down far enough, I kinda just hover over it this and then I slowly start moving it back up. When I get a little close, I kind of move it out of the way and we just adjust. So as you see there, it's kind of tapping. So I'm gonna go back down just a smidge and now you can see it slides back under it. That's how you know that the depth is perfect. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and also move our laser and just take another picture. That way we know our smiley face will be perfect and in place. See that, and it moved just a little bit, but we readjusted it, so it's perfect. I'm just gonna do this a little smaller, like that. Yeah. Now we're gonna go over here and adjust this to line mode, and then we're gonna have to change the settings. So you double click there, and I'm gonna put this to 450, and max power to 20. I also adjust the minimum power to 20 as well, just so that way they're even. All right, we're gonna go ahead and push preview here just so we can see the way it looks on our project. So this will show you step by step on how it's going to engrave. Come like this. So there's one, two, three, and then the last is the circle. And this right here will kind of give you a total estimated time and it says three seconds. These two options over here are start and send. If you have a simple project like this smiley face, you hit start and it'll immediately start engraving. If it's a more detailed project, it's recommended that you send it to the laser first and then actually start the project through the laser. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. And then we're gonna hit start over here in the light burn software. As you can see, that was super fast. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Yep, that's a good looking smiley face. So that was line mode. I wanna show you something in fill mode. We're gonna put that back down, head over to Lightburn, 
and we're going to take a new picture. To take a new picture, it's this button right here, Update Overlay. Okay, we're going to adjust our picture here and move it over a little bit. All right, and then we're going to go over to Settings, change this to Fill Mode. Um, sometimes you can adjust the speed or power, but I think 450 and 20 is fine for the type of material we have. So then we'll click Preview so we can see what it's going to look like. So as you can see there, it shows you the fill. And this is going to take approximately 3 minutes 50 seconds. I really don't want to wait 3 minutes 50 seconds, so I'm actually going to just shrink the project down like this. And then we can press preview, see it again, and now it's back down to 1 minute and 40 seconds. So you can see that changed with just changing the size. Okay, let's go ahead and shut the door and we'll start this fill project. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh yeah. All right, so that you can see right there is line mode, fill mode, just two of the options that this laser can do, which is pretty cool. Um, there's lots more projects to come with this. This is just two simple things this laser can do. Today we just wanted to do a quick introduction of the laser, but in the future we'll be doing more in-depth videos and showing you all the cool crafts that we can do. Don't forget, if you need laser services, you can email us at tlrdlaser at hotmail.com and I'll review it and get back to you. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to future videos. We'll see you in the next one.